Turn it up. Yeah. Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? What time no sleeping time? Wake up the sleeping trap. Wake up the sleeping trap. Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Now, 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 now. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. If we linking up, what we linking up? What time no yeah. sleeping time? I said I had to call him up I made the phone call a deke like what's up Is you ready for war? He replied being ready for war Being ready for a battle with swords And I respect him cause he fought many wars I humble down to what the scriptures say And give doubles to the elders that been leading the way I know it's hard in this walk And they been walking for years So when I weak in the flesh They voice attend to my ears A young man try and soak the wisdom Gain the knowledge Apply the scriptures Wrong decisions Leave me senseless Dear Lord would you give me a chance We all looking for the code the gate. We all look at how to All right, start at 21 and verse 20. That's a good scripture. Do you know what it's talking about, though? Uh, uh, only the black folks I know have been captured in all nations. Yeah, so that's right. Okay, I was just making sure you understand. That's right. Listen, watch this. Actually, it's these people on this side because we all not, quote, black. That's right. Just like the uh, Mexicans, they was our shade, but they some of them uh, mixed with the Spaniards. Right. So it told, it, they changed their skin tone. Bring it out, uh -huh. Uh -huh. But according to the Bible, there's no such thing as mixed. You are what your father is, just like you got interracial marriage among us today. Uh -huh. If you have a black father that sleep with a white uh, or Chinese woman, their father, their baby gonna be what their father is. That's right. So, but the color gonna be different. Right. All right. So when it's when you say Israelite, it's not about color. It's about nation of people. Nation. So listen, this Luke 21 and 20. It's going into where you stop there in like 24 read. Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, that was in 70 A.D. When the fall of Jerusalem. When the Roman army come to Jerusalem, they seize Jerusalem. Read. That's right. Then know that the desolation thereof is not. So he said, when you see the armies come, some, uh, circumference Jerusalem or come past Jerusalem, know it's going to get destroyed. That means that's what the desolation is now. Know that the destruction is near. That's, that's right. That's what that means. So keep reading. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. So we fled. When they start to see it, you had Israelites leave the city and flee to Egypt. That's why we ain't from Africa. We fled into Africa when this happened. So this this the history on why we got took from Africa. You pulled the right scripture, but this showing you before Jerusalem got destroyed, a whole lot of Israelites fled out of there and we went to Africa. Alright, watch this read. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. So if you in the middle of Jerusalem, Christ said, leave out. Yeah. He Christ said that's when he happened, he happened but it, in 70 AD, after he died, it actually happened. Uh -huh. I read. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. Read. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So that's a key point I want to bring out. They said, these be the days of vengeance. That all things are written may be fulfilled. You know what that means? Yeah. What's going? What's up under the sun has already we, been done. The we're gonna talk repeat, about it. I'm gonna show you. The past. It gotta repeat itself. I'm gonna show you exactly what that happened because there's certain things that hadn't happened yet. Yeah, okay. We hadn't come over here on slave ships yet. So it's a it's a it's a prophecy. Moses said, if you break God's laws, you going into slavery on ships. So Christ said this something. gotta happen so that can happen. Uh -huh. When you read Deuteronomy 28 and you start at verse 50, yes, it right. going to the seed yes, of Jerusalem. Curses. Right. About them eating their kids and right. stuff. That had to be fulfilled. There was a curse for breaking God's laws. Right. Right. So keep read. For woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. So destruction to them that with child, but they're going to be eating their kids, just like the prophets said. Yeah. And Deuteronomy 28, after uh, verse 51 and all down. 53 and all down. Read. For there shall be great distress in the land, 
and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Meaning that they're going to be getting killed. And read, watch this. And shall be led away captive into all nations. And be led away captive into all nations. Yeah. Look at that. They over here, they catch our bus. But guess what? We walk through this nation like, nigga, what's the people going to visit the South? Yeah. They the safest people over here, though. Uh, right. They rape, robbed, and murdered our ancestors, cut out all uh, women, baby, stomach open. Bring it out, huh? Gator bait. Fed our kids to alligator for gator bait, like you said, read. And you shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. So the people that are ruling over you hate you. Right. So stop marching. Stop voting. Bring it out. They, it ain't going to get you nowhere because either God true or you true. The Bible ain't lying. God said the people that hate over you, that's ruling over you, hate you. Give me that in Lamentations 4. 4 and 17. That it. Give me Lamentations 4 and 17. Listen to this. Stop marching. Stop voting. Because they ain't going to change nothing. Read that. Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 17. Bring it out. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. And they, in our watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. So we looking for a nation. They ain't trying to save you. We That's watching right. for a nation that can't save me. We trying to vote. But the people that rule over us, God said they hate you. Martin Luther King talked to you, turn the other cheek. Let's not talk about them. Give me Hebrews 16 and 17. Let me show you. That's Esau. Turn the other cheek is like for your brother. Like if you would have came up here all mad and stuff. You know, we got formations to stop you from doing nothing to us. Right, right. But we going to turn the other cheek. We ain't going to hate you. We going to hope you repent. That's right. Because right. repentance is for you. And that's one but word listen, they don't use no more. Martin Luther King taught you to turn the other cheek against somebody who repentance ain't even for. Right. Listen to this. Hebrews, uh, is that 20, 16 and 17? 16 and 17, where you at? 12 and 16. 12 and 16, read. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll think about another scripture. Read. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. Bring it on! Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. So Esau was labeled a profane fornicator in the Bible. So lest there be anybody like you, like him among you, read. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. That means you don't reject the truth. Because yeah. if we reject the truth, it's going to be like Esau rejected his birthright. It ain't no repentance for somebody blaspheming the Holy Ghost. That's right. right. So don't reject this truth. Get it, learn it, and come into it. But watch this read. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, Preach. he was rejected. Preach. We found no place of repentance. So is it repentance for Esau? No. He found no place of God, repentance. God so my Luther King got, give me Acts 5 and 31. Let me God, show you repentance for it, then I'm going to answer your God, question. God did say, I hate Esau, but I love Jacob. Romans 9 and 13. That's right. But look, he said that, but see, you got to prove all things. Can you go in the Bible and show me that? So watch this, hold that, give me 1 well, Peter, maybe, maybe he, first Peter you 4 and 11. Man, I'm going to show you something. Spirit. This is 1 Peter know. 4 and 11. I'm going to show you what the spirit right. is. 1 Peter 4 and 11. Listen, because this is what, we didn't come out here to do this. That's why we came out here with the Bible. That's right. God did say, Jacob, I love Esau, I hate. But this is something else the Bible say. This is real important. Read. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. Bring it out. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So if you saying, if you speaking, speak with the Bible. Watch this, read. Peter 4 11, sorry. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified. So what that mean is, how can you tell me God said something? You got the word of God in your hand, but you ain't even using it. Well, again, sir, that I have parts of knowledge from from the spiritual people. I might I not understand, know. but listen. I don't read that well. Listen, but I do I'm have not, knowledge. Listen, but I know you are. I do. understand you well, right, yes, sir. Do. And I listen, know that y'all can come to that Bible yes, and bring it on out to. So you. according to the and that's good. You came to the right place. So that's right. That's why our people did. We heard that in church so long. Our pastor do this with the Bible. 
his Bible dusty. He say, dust said the Lord, but he don't open He just show you the dust on it. Dust said the Lord. You need to go to church on Sunday, but that ain't in the Bible. See, to, so to prevent from doing that, we go in the Bible and rightly divide the word of truth. Actually, actually, Bible is not in the Bible. Yeah, our people describe for what? Listen to this. That's all I know is scripture. John, James, Jesus, all I'm saying. I got a question for you. I got a question for you. I don't say holy Bible. I'm going to ask if both of y'all know about this answer. My people are describing for what? You know that? My people are describing for what? So what is knowledge though? Give me uh give me do the Romans 28 and 37. So this this the crap that like what this brother was teaching, he said is the white man or whoever in power over you, is they gonna teach you how to get out of their captivity. All of that is a part, yeah. That's like giving you a gun with no bullets. That's like giving you a gun, but it's on safety because you do that. It don't matter if you got it, you ain't shooting it right. It don't matter if you know how to shoot it, you ain't aiming it right. It don't matter if you know how to aim it, you scared to shoot the target you need to hit. But two things I know, Listen, sir. you have to have faith and, and, and the obedience. Listen, that's the point is, you have, have to read it like I said. That's yes, the point. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're right. You, see, you know what he's trying to show you? Give me an eight, chapter 8, verse 30 there in Hebrews. Bring it up. 5 and 12, I think that's 5 and 12. Give me his Acts chapter 8, verse 30. Listen to this. Be what you got. Hey, somebody get the, hey, help the brother out. Hold on, don't put that up. Help him out. First go to, first go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, because this is why he can't get the complete understanding too. First, 2 Corinthians, what is it? 2 Corinthians, oh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 11. Starting verse 3. Read what you got. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the order is the, the head of every man is Christ. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. So guess what, black man? You're going to learn today that you're the head of your woman. That's right. The, the white man may have put the black woman over the man, but guess what? The Bible, God says that the man is over the woman. It's a new breed of black men out here. We rule our households. We take care of our kids. And guess what? We marry our wives. That's right. Bring it out. Read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, uh -huh. dishonoring his head. Guess what you doing with your head being covered? You dishonoring Christ and the Most High God. Why? Because the scripture is coming out, you're supposed to have your what? Head covered. So with that head, you'll be doing what? Not receiving the knowledge of So now you'll have to do what with the head? Our praise to the Most High. Now let's get Acts chapter 8, verse 30. That's our praise to the Most High. Y'all see how easy it is to start to change? That's it ain't hard. It's little steps. That's why in Matthews it says, at least you break one of these least commandments. Read what you got. Acts chapter 8 and verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read. Prophet Isaiah. Start in verse uh, 29. Verse 29. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. It says, So the Spirit told Philip, Go, join yourself to this chariot. Fish that might follow. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So he said, He heard him read the prophet Isaiah. Watch this. Come on. And said, Understand thou what thou readest? So he asked him, Do you understand what you read? Do you understand what you read? Partially hard, but it do come through. But well, watch this, read. And he said, How can I? He, the man said, How can I read? Except some man should guide me. Except some man should guide me. Reading a man with knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. You looking at a new breed of black man out here. Bring it out. You did not have to go to a theology school because you want to know why? It's the spirit of the most high God working with us. Now give me Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. Hebrews 5 and 12. This is what the pastor is supposed to be doing. To hell with a prosperity speech. Our people need to know the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Read what you got. Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 12. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. Let them get it. Tell them to turn it down a little bit. 
I think it's the Mike Vine. Turn it down. For when, for the time, he ought to be teacher. So when it's time, when it's time for our men to be teachers, how we what we doing? When it's time for you to be a teacher, guess what? Come on. He have need that one teach you again. You gonna need somebody to teach you again. Guess what? Everything that you have learned throughout your time on earth was a lie. It was all wrong. It was contrary to what God said. Bring it out. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta come back as what? We read and then you give me John chapter 3 verse 3 Which be the first principles of the oracles of God So this the first thing you gotta do The first thing you gotta do Give me John chapter 3 verse 3 This is what you have to do It's so required of all of us That's right Read what you got John chapter 3 and verse 3 Jesus answered and said unto him Verily, verily, I say unto thee Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. How can we be born again? How can we be born again? We got to do what? Give me First Peter's. Two. Two and two. Let me show you something. When you being born again as a baby, guess what you got to do? Give me First Peter chapter 2 verse 2. You says you got to do what? First, when you hold it, he did first give me second edges, chapter 14, verse 34. This is what we got to do first. Second edges, chapter 13, verse 34, and whole second Peter, uh, first Peter's 2 and 2. We going to that next. Read what you got. Second edges, chapter 14, verse 34. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding. Do what? Subdue your own understanding. Your what? Your own? Did it say? Your own understanding. Your own understanding. And Proverbs 3 and 5 says, lean not towards your own understanding, but what? But who? The word of God. And what you been getting since you been standing right there? The word of God. Yep. Read what you got. And reform your heart. Reform your what? Your heart. Change your minds. That's what we have to do. As black men and black women, we have to change our minds. Come on. Ye shall be kept alive. That's how you're going to be kept alive and how you alive. Give me Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. No. This is how you're going to be alive. Hold it in Peter's. It says you shall be kept alive if you reform your hearts. You start to change your mind. What's going to help you change your mind? Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. So the only way you're going to live if you keep it what? The commandments of God. So our people is walking around here what? Spiritually dead. That's why I give me Revelations 11 and 8 right fast. That's right. We're going to go back to 2 Peter. I mean 1 Peter 2. But our people need to get the knowledge and understanding that we are the walking zombies that our people they talk about. We are the walking zombies. They bring out movies and TV shows about you. You don't understand it. Why? Because you are not in the word of God. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Come on. And their dead bodies. Their what? Their dead bodies. Come on. Shall lie in the street of the great city. What's the great city? Babylon the great. This is the great city. This is the great city. It said that you are spiritually dead. You are spiritually dead. You have no connection with your God. You know who you got connections with? This devil right here. Bring it out, huh? This who you got connection with, and that's why it's so easy for you to be evil as hell uh, towards each other. Because you got connection with this devil. Read what you got. Which spiritually is called Sodom uh -huh. and Egypt. Why is this place called spiritually Sodom and Egypt? Because they, you woke up one morning and gay marriage was legalized in all 50 states. Hell, did they get your vote for it? Uh -huh. No. Because your vote don't matter. Bring it out. But you wanted to vote for Hillary or you wanted to vote for Trump, it didn't matter. You was in a lose-lose. The only way you're going to win if you pick this Bible up and turn back to the Bible is the Israelites. That's right. That's the only way we ever defeated our enemies with the help of God. That's right. When we don't have God on our side, our enemies going to have their foot on our neck. Right. Read it from the top again. And the dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Y'all see how our bodies are uh, spiritually dead in the streets of America? Y'all want to know why? Because Christianity. Because of the Catholic Church. Because of the Pentecostal Church. Because of the Baptist Church. This is why. Read. 
which spiritually is called Sodom uh -huh. and Egypt. Why did he uh, destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Because of homosexuality. Because of homosexuality. Why is this place called spiritual Egypt? He said 400 years in Egypt been a prophecy we will go serve 400 years in America. That's right. Test the prophecy. Matter of fact, give me Exodus chapter 1. We're going to come back to it. Let's get a more understanding of why this place is called spiritual Egypt, okay? Give me Exodus chapter 1. Start at verse 10. Exodus chapter 1 and verse 10. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. So Pharaoh was letting his people know. He was talking to his people. He said, we got to deal wisely with them. Right. Did not the white man tell his uh, people that he had to deal wisely with the Indians? Bring it out. Because they wanted this land? He said, we got to deal wisely with them. And they started to make peace treaties. They made peace treaties. Just like the Spaniards did. Just like the Spaniards did. The conquistadors. They made all they, uh agreements and covenants in Spanish. When our people spoke what? Hebrew. Bring it out, huh? Read what you got. Lest they multiply and it come to pass that when they're falling out in the war, they join also unto our enemies. So Pharaoh didn't want us to uh, come together and join with the enemy to go against them, just like the white man don't want us to come together and go against him. That's why we broken down in everything. We broken down in school and uh, we, we, they didn't broke us, they didn't classify us all the way down to religion. Now you, now some of you blacks, man, because one might be Democrat and the other one might be Republican. You are neither. Read what you got. And fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. So Pharaoh wanted to get us up out of the land. Right. Did not the white man want to get us or uh, get the Indians up out of the land? Yes, he did. Read what you got. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. So in Egypt, they set us taskmasters to afflict them with, a, with our burdens. Did not they do it in America? Did not they use another black man to whip you? Yes, Bring it out, huh? That's a taskmaster. You seen the movie Life? You had the black man riding on a horse? He said, you see this gun line? You don't cross this gun line. He did it all for who? The white man. Read what you got. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. Uh -huh. Python and Ramsey. That's the valley of the kings. Our people built that, but guess what? Who built the White House? Black folks. Who built the uh, Great Wall of China? Black. Our people built every great dynasty on this planet Earth. Out, right. Right. The same way we served in Egypt is the same way we were going to serve in America, just on a higher level. Read what you got. But the more they afflicted them, the more they afflicted us, just like they're doing right now, the more they afflicted us. Come on. The more they multiplied uh -huh. and grew. The more we multiplied and grew because the phrase is, if we don't die, we what? Multiply. We multiply. We are God's chosen. We'll never be extinct. That's right. Read. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. So the Egyptians was grieved because of us on how we was multiplying, on how we was becoming a nation. Is not the white man grieved? That's right. Hell, they got us on the damn hate group. That's right. They say we terrorists. Uh, because we speak the word of God. We never did no suicide bombing. We never hung nobody. We never burnt a body. Only thing we have done is came out here with the word of God. Teach our people who they are. You want to know why this don't? This this is the biggest secret in the government to keep the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans dumbed down to their nationality. Don't let them find out that they God's chosen people. Because if they all come together, they know it's over with. Read what you got. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. Did not Esau, the so-called white man, make us serve with rigor? The same way we used to be served in rigor in Egypt, that's how we served over here in America. Read what you got. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. With hard bondage. They made our lives bitter with hard bondage over here. Watch this. Read. In mortar and in brick. In mortar and in brick. From building the pyramids to building the White House. Read. And in all manner of service in the field. In all manner of service in the what? In the field. So you telling me we was in the field in Egypt? What field we served over here in America? The cotton fields, the sugar cane fields, the rice plantation. We, this the same way. It's all way in Egypt. That's right. Boy. So they're showing you that what? This is a what? True book. Bring this the out. only true book on the planet Earth. Guess what our people have to do? 
Give me Acts 3 and 19. This is what our people have to do. Give me, uh, give me Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Read what you got. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Right. Repent ye therefore and be converted. You see what we have to do in our captivity? We have to repent and come back to the uh, come back to God as the Israelites. That's right. Not as Egyptians, not as nothing else, but as the church of Israel. Because that's who we are. That's our nationality. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be what? Blotted out. Read. When the times of refreshing shall come for the presence of the Lord. Because this earth needs to be refreshed. This earth has been polluted. Everything on this planet has been polluted. This earth has to, needs to be refreshed. You don't want your sins blotted out when Christ returns? How can we do that? Give me Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Let's see what converts you. Let's see what converts the blacks, Hispanic, and Native American man. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Doing what? Converting the soul. So what changes you? The laws of God. Did you know that you was on, can you find yourself on that side? What tribe could you say you from? What was your so-called father? Was he African American? Was he a Haitian, Jamaican? What was he? Now I try back. I don't know, man. Why you say Judah folk? Cause that's the that's our tribe, Judah. We the we the real Jews. That's the tribe Christ came from. Did you know that? Why you want to say uh, a Muslim or Israel folk? We ain't Muslim. We are Israel. The Muslims are the Israelites. We are the Israelites. Yeah, we right. God's chosen people. That's right. Did you know that? Yeah. Give me, give me a back of two, uh, two and eighteen. Yeah, we made in His image in His likeness. Yeah. That's why I gotta teach you about what's around your neck. Give me a back of two and eighteen. Uh, yeah, I don't worry for no reason. Read, man. read what you got. A back of chapter two and verse eighteen. Let me show you what it is, though. What profit if the graven image? So what profit did graven image? Watch this. Read. That the maker thereof has graven it. Come on. The molten image and a teacher of lies. A what? A teacher of lies. A teacher of what? Of lies. Of lies because the ark belongs to the, the what? Egyptians. You're not an Egyptian. Bring it out, huh? The Egyptians had you in captivity. That's Give me uh, Exodus 11 and 7. Let me show you some. Give me Exodus 11 and 7. Bring it out. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel. But against any of the children of Israel. Come on. Shall not a dog move his tongue. Shall not a dog move his tongue. Come on. Against man or beast. Against man or beast. Come on. That ye may know how the Lord doeth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. The, the, the Egyptians and who? And Israel. He put a difference between us and the Egyptians. Yeah, right. He God chosen people. He chose us. The Egyptians had you in captivity just like this white man still got us in captivity. Bring it out, huh? So what you wearing there, oh, guess what you, you guess what you saying? You uh, you are okay with the oppression that the Egyptians put upon us, just like you saying it's okay with the oppression the white man put upon us. That's right. Because the only reason our people say they Egyptian they believe in their own because the white man put the Egyptians on a pedestal. So when you do research, you go back to Egypt. Not knowing you was capti captives in Egypt. That's like right. just like you captives over here in America. How did we have people get over here to the shores of America? White man. White man, what what means of transportation? Oops. Can we find it in the Bible? Yep. So okay. What book would you go to? Because we gotta know our history. It been a minute, my son. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 6. Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 28. Back, give me uh first Timothy 2 and 15. Let me show you something. Let me show you why you say it's been a minute. You want to know why you say it's been a minute? Give me a uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12 first. Let me show you why you say it's been a minute. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 12. Because guess what? You blacks, you not Egyptians, you not Africans, you not homotel or Nefertiri. You are the children of Israel. That's right. That's who you are and that's who you be. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12. And further by these, my son, be a modest of making many books. Uh -huh. There is no end 
and much study is a weariness of the flesh. There ain't no end to all them books and all that study is the weary of the flesh. And guess what? Out of all of you studying all them different books, get what main book you put down? The Bible. Uh, bring it out, huh? The Bible, which is the most important book because this is the only book we need. That's you right. want to know why? Keep reading. It's going to let you know. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So if we want to go on and get right down to it and hear the conclusion of the whole matter for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men, read what you got. Fear God. You got to fear God. Read. And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of what? For this is the whole duty of man. Of who? Of man. So what the man supposed to be doing? Keeping his commandments and teaching who? Teaching the people. And teaching the people. Ah. Give me second edge is 14, uh, 13 and uh That's the dude of all 13 and 14. Show you men. Because our men, don't y'all know, we have to rule our communities, our households according to God's laws. That's the only way our community is gonna get right. That's the only way our women gonna get right. Bring it out, huh? By us doing right according to God's laws. Not according to America system. We gotta do everything according to what God said because we God chosen people and these are our laws, statutes, and commandments that He left us. That's true. Romans 15 and 4 says the things that were written aforetime was written for our learning. Right. We have to learn from this Bible, not from this society. It's time for us to wake up and be men. That's right. Read what you got. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore, set thine house in order. So what the black man got to do? Set thine house in order. First off, you got to set your house in order. That's right. That don't mean go slapping your woman around and talking bad to her. That mean they teaching her according to God's laws. And I'm going to show it to you, read. And reprove thy people. You got to, and then after you get your house in order, that's the only way you can reprove and correct your people. That's right. Read. Come for such of them as be in trouble. The only way we can comfort those that be in trouble is through us learning the word of God and giving y'all the scriptures right. to comfort y'all with. Read. And now renounce corruption. Uh huh. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Let, 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 let go from you the mortal thoughts that you've been having. Come back to the laws of God. Read. Cast away the burdens of men. Cast away those burdens of men. Come on. Put off now the weak. Nature. Guess what we got to do? We got to put off the weak nature that America has put upon us. Right. Put off that weak nature and come back to the Bible and turn up yeah. your laws like a man. Yeah. We the greatest people on the planet Earth. That's right. And look how we treat each other. Look at our communities and look at our neighborhoods. Read. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Give me uh, Genesis 18 and verse 19. Bring it out. Give me Genesis chapter 18 verse 19. This is what we're supposed to be doing as men. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 18 and verse 19. Listen good. For I know him that he will command his children. He was, the most high was talking to Abraham about Abraham. He said, for I know him. The most high said he know Abraham. That he will command his what? His children. First it says his children. Read. And his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord. Keep the way of Christianity. Keep the way of the Lord. Keep the way of the Roman Catholic Church. No. Keep the way of the Lord. Keep, keep the, the way Lord. of Islam. The way of, of the, the Lord. Lord. You got to keep the way of the Egyptians. No. The way of, of the, the Lord. Lord. You got to keep the ways of the Lord. Read. To do justice uh -huh. and judgment uh -huh. that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he have spoken of him. What, what, he, what And what was that? The covenant that he was going to make with his seed forever. That's, That's right. it. The Abraham, over. Isaac, Jacob. And with Jacob, it come the 12 tribes of the church of Israel. That's right. And it starts with us men. Give me that in uh, 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 Second Ages. I think that's Second Ages uh, 13. I mean, uh, this Second Ages. That's true. Uh, give me Second Ages, chapter 13, uh, 10 and 34. 10 and 33. Second Ezra chapter 10 and verse 33. Watch this. And he said unto me, stand up manfully. You got to stand up manfully. That's what we out here doing. We standing up manfully for the word of God to show That's our people right. that we God chosen people. That's the right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we God chosen people. Right. We are the Israelites. Read. And I will advise thee. Uh -huh. The Most High will advise thee. We got to gird up our laws and stand up manfully for the word of God. Because yeah, guess what? Right. That's what our forefathers did. Give me that in 1st Maccabees, chapter 2. 
First Maccabees chapter 2. Starting verse, I think that's 54. Be good, Carl. Alright. First Maccabees 2, I think that's verse 54. Read what you got. Okay. Yeah. About Matty Thighs and his sons. First Maccabees. Yeah. Start right there. First Maccabees chapter 2 and verse 64. Wherefore, ye my sons, be valiant and show yourselves men. You heard that man when he told his sons, he said, now do what? Show yourselves men show yourself. in the behalf of the law. In the behalf of what? Of the law. We got to always teach our people the laws of God. That was always our job as men. That's why we was the priests. We, our job was teach the people. That's what we have to do. And what do we got to teach the people? The laws of God. Show them what we're doing wrong. Give me Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Bring it out. Give me Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Let me show y'all some basic laws that our people do not get. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Hold on. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So as the Israelite men, we can't make baldness upon our head like Floyd Mayweather, Michael George, Shaquille O'Neal. Come on. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Why shouldn't we shave off the corner of our beard? Because it's a manly badge of honor. That's right. It shows you went from boyhood to manhood. That's why we get those white pimples and all that around our uh, face, our, our, uh, our neck and our uh, jaw area because of that razor. We are supposed to shave off our beard. The way you tell a female lion and a male lion is what? It's man. That's what, that's how. So we have to grow our what? Our beard. That's right. That's a what? That's a command. That's a command. That's how you Yeah, read. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Nor make any cuttings in our flesh like tattoos. We don't need to get tattoos. Yeah. Our people love to get tattoos. They love to get yeah, shaved up. Give me number I chapter 15, more. verse 38. Let me show y'all another thing. Y'all know we got a dress code. Oh, yeah. Everybody on this planet Earth, y'all know they want to be like us. They dress like us. They Come try on, to man. talk like us. Bring it out, huh? Bring your head back with just like that. You go. You're going to see white people wearing their hat backwards just like that. You're going to see the Asians wearing their hats backwards just like that. You're going to see the Arabs wearing, uh, wearing their hat backwards just like that. How y'all doing? Hey, don't let this history uh, walk past. Don't walk past all this history. Don't y'all know that all this is history. It's for us. They're happy to our people to show us who we really are because we are not blacks. We are not African Americans. We are God's chosen people. Right. Imagine that we heard that from our childhood. Imagine that we heard that, and we ain't heard, uh, we just niggas, spits, and coons. That we ain't just good for nothing but basketball and football. We God chosen people. Let me ask you two, who is this right here? This so-called Jesus. So-called Jesus. You was talking with Jesus Christ growing up, right? Where did this image come from? School. School. Give me, uh, Revelation 1, chapter 1. Bring it out. Because for our people to believe this is Jesus, it means something wrong with our mind, correct? Because how could this be our savior, and this is the same man that raped, robbed, and murdered our ancestors Bring it out, and eradicated a whole nation of people? Bring it out, huh? It can't be. We have been bamboozled. All our churches got what image in it? This right here. This right here. Y'all wonder why it's so much evil in them churches. Yeah, it's all the yeah. Remember, Jared, you used to get the whole Bible, now they give you a little, little New Testament Bible. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen to this. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does the word revelation mean? No, uh -uh. what's the word? Reveal. To what? Reveal. So John the Revelator is going to reveal Revelation. the description of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Come on. Which God gave unto him. Jump down to verse 3. Watch this. Verse 3. Watch this. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that what? That readeth. That what? That readeth. Y'all heard that? Yeah. Blessed is he that what? Readeth. What our people don't like doing? Read. But John the Revelator just said, do what? Read. Blessed is he that readeth. You black men, you need to start reading. And guess what book you need to read? Bible. This Bible. That's, That's right. right. Guess your history book. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. So y'all let them off and hear the word of this prophecy out, huh? of Jesus Christ. Now jump down to verse 13. Verse 13. 
and in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So we're going to do process of a living nation. We're going to say, is this description right according to the Bible, or is this description right according to the Bible? Bring it out. Read what you got. One like unto the Son of Man. Now, this says, now, John the Revelator said, this looks like the Son of Man right here. Now, let's see how he described the Son of Man, which is who? Jesus Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Y'all see how my garment is? But Christ had on a garment down to the foot. Read. And they girt about the pets with a golden girdle. Christ right. had on a golden girdle, a golden belt. Yeah, I got 100% cotton on. Christ had on pure gold. Read. His yeah. head and his hairs were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. Like what? Like wool. Can you touch your hair? What does it feel like? Wool. Wool. They call it what? Nappy. When you type in nappy on Google, it going to tell you that your hair is in its natural state. So when they call you just nappy head, guess what? They just they just you understand now. My hair just did it, its natural state. Yeah. That's how our hair is. That's it's cool. kinky. It gets it gets uh, our texture. Our hair gets woolly, like a what? Happy. A sheep. <laughs> Read. Happy. As white as snow. As white as what? As snow. So now let's do process process of elimination. White woolly hair, white bird, white as snow. Do you even see a bird on this character? Just a Read what you got. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why was Christ's eyes as a flame of fire? Why was his eyes as a flame of fire? Because of what? Because he loved to drink wine. Because when we drink, the, the whites of our eyes do what? Turn red. Yes. That's why Christ's eyes was red. Not because he was like Cyclops out X-Men, shooting fire in his eyes. No. Read what you got. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So if you look down at somebody's feet, they feet the same color the rest of their body, correct? Yeah. Read. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like brownish. 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 Brownish, right? We know he ain't now. We know he don't have red eyes. This man got blue eyes over here, green eyes on this one. So we know that strike too. Then it says his feet is skin like fine brass. Strike three. Because we know this is not brass at all. Read. As if they burned in, in a, a furnace. furnace. If they burn what? In a furnace. So Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Let's see that he see the same description as John the Revelator. Bring it out. Because remember, Christ said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. Read what you got. The book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 5. Bring it out. So I lifted up mine eyes and looked. And behold, a certain man. A certain man. Come on. Clothed in linen. Clothed in linen. Come on. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of Uvan. There go that golden belt again. Read. His body also was like the barrel. Meaning he had on a green garment. Come on. And his face as the appearance of lightning. His face as the appearance of lightning because of the power he had. Read. And his eyes as lamps of fire. His eyes as lamps of fire. Come on. And his arms and his feet. His what? His arms and his feet. His arms and his feet. Read. Like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Did they not call you one nationality? Was not our nationality called colored people? Yeah. You colored people drink the water over there. So guess what? Color like what? To polish brass. That's the same thing John the Revelator said. Bring it out, huh? So who is this? This is the devil. That the Bible speaks of. That's, right. that's why our, this is the root of black on black crime. That's right. That's why we kill each other. That's why we pimp our women out. Why we don't try to pimp no Asians out? Why you don't try to pimp no Arab women out? Why you don't try to pimp no African women out? Because you can't. We only do evil to our people. Bring it out, huh? It's our time that we wake up that's right. and come back to the knowledge of this Bible. Did y'all know slavery's in the Bible and slavery's Bible prophecy? How did we get over here to the shores of America? Oh, what? Can you think I can find in here? Give me Deuteronomy 28 to see state. Bring it out. Start at verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. When you see it shall come to pass, that means that this thing ain't going to happen if it ain't already happened. Come on. And thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. This is the voice of the Lord thy God, this Bible. That's the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. You heard that all his commandments. Not just ten. Read. 
and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, it what? that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, another word for curses, evil things. It says all these evil, excuse me, all these evil things will go happen to these people. Uh -huh. Jump down to verse 16 right there. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Are we not cursed in every city around the world? Bring it out, huh? We cursed in every city. Everyone. Hands up, don't shoot. Rate your profile. All these different things happen to us. Hell, if you even jog in the white neighborhood now, you gonna get a, you gonna get a citation. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. What field? The cotton fields. What if uh, what that pitch head wheel on the field? The cotton fields. Where they over there? They showing the uh, cotton fields. We got them showing the cotton field. Let's, let's lift that up. Let's show our people the cotton field. Y'all come closer. This is our history. You see this? This the cotton field. This the cotton field. What's this right here? This a little baby. This a baby. This a cotton field. Curse shot out there in the field. What field you cursed on now today? FedEx, UPS, Nike. The jobs you have to work 12 hour shifts when you see your uh, co workers more than you see your family. Right. That's a curse. You don't think that's a curse? When you at work 70 hours a week and you're spending 13 hours with your kids and you wonder why they bad? That's a curse. Why? Because we did not want to hearken to our God. That's right. It's our time we wake out of sleep. Jump down to verse 30. Verse 30. Come on. Thou shalt be taught a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Y'all heard that? Did you mean hear that? That mean we was promised wives or had wives, but another man had to what? Lie with her. Had to what? Lie with her. Just imagine that. The slave master just can come get your wife when he wants to. And then guess what? She had to come back to you. What kind of mental state do you think our people was in? Yeah. We can read it right now. They had you chained and shackled up for over 350 years where you couldn't read or write. You have no excuse right now. Bring it out. You have no excuse. That's right. Read. Thou shalt build a house and thou shalt not dwell therein. Did y'all hear that? All these big houses that they have. Our people are building those houses. We built the White House, but look who been in it. Hell, they tried to give you one black man. And he was an African. But he, they, but they told our people he was black so they can what? Calm them down. Calm them down, Kim Barack. Kim Barack. Hell, our people, you had black men crying like hell when he became president. Read. Jump down to verse 32. Verse 32. Watch this. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. What is, uh, right here. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. What's this right here? A what? A auction. What they auctioning who off? Us. Read that from the top again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. Our sons and daughters was given to another people. Look at this, a newborn baby right there. Come closer and we can actually see. This is the thing that happened to our people. Is that not a newborn baby? So as soon as our baby, watch this. Jump down to verse 41. We're going to come right back to that. Read. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For they shall go into captivity. We weren't going to enjoy our kids because that was going to go where? Into captivity. Into captivity. This is what? Bible prophecy. We did not know that this was in the Bible. This is your history book. To hell with American history. This is Israelite history. And it's only for you blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. It's our time we'll wake up and claim our heritage. That's right. Read it from the top again. And thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Because they were going to go into captivity. Another reason why we're going to enjoy them, jump back up to verse 32 and give me the, uh, uh, the uh, part out the... Uh, Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them, 
all the day long. Our eyes were going to look and fail with longer for them all the day long, meaning we was going to what? We couldn't do nothing but cry. Y'all seen the movie 12 Years a Slave? Y'all seen the movie Roots? We couldn't do nothing but cry. If you got kids and some and somebody call uh, DHS on you and tell you that y'all living in bad living conditions, y'all water ain't working, y'all air ain't working, what you think they gonna come do? They gonna come take the kids. You think it's gonna be easy for you to get your kids back? That is a curse. Just because you don't take care of your kids up to their standards, they'll take your kids from you. That's a curse. Jump down to verse 37. You can put that down now. Let me see. Read verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. Astonishment is a great wonder. All other nations wonder why the black man don't like taking care of his kids. They wonder why the black woman or uh, 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 rather make a twerk video to show her kids how to do their homework. Out, huh? They wonder why we act the way we do towards each other. We are an astonishment. It says a what? A proverb. A proverb. What's a proverb against our people? A proverb is a wise saying. What are wise sayings against our people? You want to have something from a nigga, you going to do what? Put it in the book. A nigga with a little chicken. A nigga love great Kool-Aid. All of these are proverbs against our people. And what else? And a byword. A byword is being called something outside your nationality. Like a nickname or a petty expression. Like Junior. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Or African American. Or Mexican. Or Haitian. All of those are bywords. Y'all know that all of them are our people. Because we come from the tribe of Judah. No. Africans are not our people. Africans are not our people. That's what they tell you. Africans sold Africans in slavery. Now Africans sold Israelites. In this Bible prophecy. We gonna get it. Jump down to verse 40, uh, 40, uh, 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. A sign and for a wonder. We know we see that church of chicken sign. We know we can go get some chicken biscuits and some sweet tea. So uh, according to these signs in Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, that's your identification in the land of your captivity to show you who you are. Right. That's right. In order to know where you, to, in order for you to know where you're going in your future, you have to know where you come from. You have right. to know your past. That's you right. have to know your history. If you have no data or clue of your history, how the hell do you know where you're going? We have to come back to our history, and that's the Bible. Yeah. And that's God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read, read verse 47. Verse 47, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because we want to serve our God for joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Guess what our God did? Guess what our God did? Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Thou what? Thine enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall, who? Which the Lord shall sin against thee. So who sent thy enemies against us? Who? God. Why? Because we ain't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. So God sent thy enemies. I guess he was such a loving God. He's a terrible God too. That's right. Read. In hunger. In what? In hunger. Whose store is we going into right now? Churches. Look, we even going in gold in China. Gold in China. You don't even know how they take their garbage out. Look at the design of the building, man. You don't know what you eat in them Chinese places. You go in there and ask for some ribs, you gonna get a cat die. You mess around going there and get some shrimp fried rice right, with some vegetables, your green, your green vegetables gonna start hopping on your plate. But guess what? That's a curse. And guess what? God did it to us. That's right. Why? Because we didn't want to hearken to his voice, out, which is the Bible. Read. And in thirst. In thirst. Aquafina, the sunny. Waterfall at the sky for free. We have to go to our enemies for that. For water. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, the clothes that's on our back. We don't own this textile companies. We don't own none, none of the, the cotton uh, manufacturing companies. We don't own none of that. Our enemies own all that. Read. 
and in want of all things. In the want of all things. Your kid needs an education. You need a child. Your baby needs to be born. Your baby, uh, you need to uh, bear with one of your family members. He has to go to our enemies for any and everything. But guess what this enemy was gonna do? Read what you got. And he. And who? And he. And he. So this enemy is a he. Let's see who this enemy is. Read. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. A what? A yoke of iron upon thy neck. And to what? Until he have destroyed thee. So y'all want to know why we were mentally destroyed? Come look. This right here was in museums. Y'all know we just had a, a, one of them entertainers to wear something like this. What's the boy's name? Future. He had him and his daughter with that on. Something like that. Our people don't understand the things that happen to us. This is Bible prophecy. This is your history. We got a school right around the corner on 1661 of Mount It's our time that we come up and wake up and learn who we are. We got to learn who we are. We God chose the people. You can put that down. But watch this. We have laws that choose the commandments to follow. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 20 to 1 5. Because we got a dress code. We got a dress code. We got laws that choose the commandments. You put, we, men got to have beards on their face. That's a law. So if your beard can grow, let your beard grow. Read that for me. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Yes, it is. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Come on. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So now, if you were standing right here in the dress, you would be an abomination to God, and we'd be thinking you would. Gay as hell, right? So when our women got pants on, what should we think? They're abomination. Yeah, then she'll, pay, she'll have on a masculine spirit. That's what brings upon a woman. Bring it out, a, man, huh? a, a masculine spirit. That's why it's so easy for our black women to roll up at the black man. You see what I'm saying? Not no, Unconsciously knowing. We don't know that. We don't know that. Our women don't understand the spirit that, that gets on them. That's why it's so easy for you to... Nigga, what? He just asked you to turn the hot water off. It's that spirit that comes with it. That's what we have to understand. This is we can't be carnal minded no more. We have to start to see everything spiritual now. We got to go with what God says and to hell with what society says. It says the woman don't supposed to do what? Wear that was pertaining unto a man. We can't. The woman can't wear what pertains to men. You can't do it. Why? We got zippers in the front of our pants. What you unzipping and flipping? Nothing. And guess what it said? You're going to be an abomination. Guess what happened to abomination? Give me Revelation 21, 27. I'm too late to make Sean come on. Read that for me. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 7. 27. And there shall in no wise, and there shall in no wise, read, enter into it. Enter into it. Enter what? The kingdom of heaven. Read. Anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination. Neither they worketh what? Abomination. Uh -huh. Or maketh a lie. So our people, that's an abomination to God, guess what? They ain't going to be in the kingdom of heaven. We have to understand who we are. We have to come back to our dress code. Give me 1 Timothy 2 and verse 9. Watch this, sister. Let's hold that picture up again. Let me show you something. Hold that picture up. Read uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Watch this. Y'all see, you see this picture? You seeing all these pictures? What do our women have on? Who? What change? What change? Yeah, and what change? Society, the white man, got in our people's head. Read what you got, watch this. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves. So the women they gotta adorn themselves. Read. In modest apparel. In what? In modest apparel. We have to start to dress in modest apparel. Why? Because nobody's supposed to see the shape of your body except your man. It's supposed to be a mission to everybody else. He's the only person that's supposed to go and see. So when I went walking around here in tight uh spandex, good dresses, where the man can see everything, guess what? The most I don't like that. 
The most I don't like that. Guess who else don't like it? Your man don't like it. And this why it always start. This why it always gonna be something. Don't you look at it. Hell is done. Hell is out. In a belt. We have the our women have to dress in modest apparel and what? With shame facing, our women have to be shy. Our women ain't shy no more. Our women will walk up to you and just tell you she want it. Or probably take it from you now. Read. And sobriety. And sobriety, read. Not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Uh-huh. But which becometh women professing godliness. Our women supposed to be professing godliness, read. With good work. With what? With good works. The good works our women supposed to be having are teaching the younger women that's up under them and their kids. You got to teach the younger women that's up under you uh, the different things on how to act as a young lady, on how to act in school, on how to act in different places that they go. This is our women's job. Teach the young girls uh, on how to do different things. To uh, make garments, to do all that. Our women has a job. Our women have a job. It's to get the household in order. Why the man, the man bring, go to work, he bring home the money, he do everything else. It's the woman's job is to help the man. It's her whole job is to help us. Read. Let the woman learn in silence. Do what? Let the woman learn in silence. And women have to learn in silence. Read. With all subjection. With all subjection. So that's all praise that the sister is here quiet. Read. But I suffer not a woman to teach. But guess what? A woman cannot teach. Read. Nor to use up authority over the man. Guess what? You have no authority over that man. That man is the head of you. Give me that in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Bring it out. Let me show you. It's the order. We have to come back to this Bible. We want to get connections back with our God. We got to come back to this Bible as the Israelites. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So Christ, uh, Paul said, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Read. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things. Watch this. And keep the ordinances. So this the ordinances, meaning orders, laws. Read. As I, as I delivered them to you. Uh huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of man is who? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is what? Is the man. So who the head of the woman? The man. The man, read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. Watch this, read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So this good, you ain't got nothing over your head covering your head because you will be dishonoring your head, which is Christ and God. But watch this, read. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. But as even all one as if she were shaven. So it's just like our women don't have not having their head covered. It's just like you want having a bald head. It'll be a shame. Uh, that is, that'll be a shame thing to see. So guess what? When the Bible coming out, I always remember you're supposed to have a head wrap or a oh, cover. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. So you gotta confess that Jesus Christ came in a what? Flesh. What color flesh? <laughs> the Christian church says this. They hypocrites. Bring it out, huh? They hypocrites. Read. And every spirit that confesseth not. Every spirit that what? Confesseth not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. Uh -huh. It's not of God. Because a lot of Christians are going to say he a spirit. Nobody never seen Jesus. No, son. Nobody never seen no Jesus. Yeah, how did he hear, uh, how did he uh, feed 5,000? How did he gather the 12 disciples? Bring it out, huh? How did he teach the people if nobody never saw Christ? How he do what? All the miracles. Let's show you. Our people, guess what, bro? You know the scriptures. The only thing you got to do is come back to the Bible. It's the Israelites. Your job is to teach her and to teach your people. That's your job. It's not a reason you was walking by the same day we was right here. The Most High directed your steps. Now the Most High got a question for you. Give me Psalms 94 verse 16. The most I want to know if our men are really serious. We say we men all day. I'm grown. I'm grown man. Let's see how grown, let's see how grown our men are. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 16. Yes, it is. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? You ready to rise up for God against the evildoers? Read. Or 
who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who gonna help but the Most High stand up against the workers of iniquity? This ain't an easy job. You see how rebellious our people is? You see how we can just freely drive up and down the street? Because we have no care for the laws of God. Our people hate God. Bring it out, huh? People say they love God all the time, but in actuality, you hate God. The only way you can show your love for God is by your actions. Read. Now, verse 16. Verse 16. Who will rise up for me against this evil doer? You see all this evil that's going on? You see all the evil amongst our people? Guess who's supposed to be reproving our people and showing them what they're doing wrong according to this Bible? This is our job. This is our book. Right. This is our whole duty. Read. For who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? All of this sin that this our enemies got out here for our people is our job to show our people not to fall for the deceitfulness of the heathens. That's our job. So go now to Acts 3 and 19. Did I read that for y'all? Acts 3 and 19? Good. Good. So now our job is for y'all is to now Y'all next step should be coming to the school. You got all the history right here in the neighborhood. We right here on Lamar Rizal. School started at 2 o'clock. We would love to see y'all there. There's what is what else is it, what else is it for our people to do? Because today we're supposed to be doing nothing but congregating with like-minded people like ourselves. Right. Other than that, we in sin, period. Why? Because we're gonna have to go buy some, we're gonna have to go cook some, we're gonna have to do something that's contrary to what God said do today. Because today is the what? The what? You already know that. Now you got to know what to do on this seventh day. Keep it what? Keep it what? Keep it holy. How do we keep it holy? Give me Hebrews 10 and 25. Show you how to keep the Sabbath holy. Hebrews 10 and 25. This man already know it. This man said keep it holy. Read. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Too many of people get answers like this. Me. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. Not forsaking the assembly. Assembly is what? When we come together. Read. As the matter of some is. As the matter of some is. Come on. But exhorting one another. But what? Exhorting one another. When we all come together, man, do you not know how much exhortation goes on throughout the unity of the brethren and the sisters? You want to know why? You want to know why? Because it ain't of God. Can't nothing stop this. Yeah, everything that we do, it has to be, the foundation has to be of Christ, the, the, the most high in Christ. That's our foundation. That's why this ain't going to be stopped. That's why you said the who rolled up? The police. The police. Read. And so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Uh-huh. For if we sin willfully. So now if we sit up there and sin willfully and say, you know what, the hell with it. Read. After that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Now after we receive the knowledge of the truth. Read. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. It said there, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Our job is to come together on the Sabbath day. Right. This our job. We have to come together uh, with like, around like-minded brothers and sisters like ourselves. Look at all the sin and evil that's out there. That's why it's so easy for our people to get caught up in sin. Look at all the evil that's upon earth. Who? Hey, a Satan, the prince of the earth. Hey, Satan, he can transform himself to an angel in light. That's why our people feel like they they living up so good when they people. When as a nation, collectively, we at the bottom of society. But our people just because they in the bins. I mean a Rolls Royce. I'm good. I'm good. That's our people's problem. They only think about self and not the nation. That's right. Our job is to think about the nation. That's, right. That's why we come out here and go to every hood in Memphis to teach our people who they are. Right. To wake up to the knowledge of this Bible. Because guess what? World War III finna pop out. War coming to this place. What's your contention plans? Our people don't have what, what's yours? Christ. To be of who? Christ. Give me that uh second Peter's uh, uh two and twenty-one. Our praise. 
Because that's exactly, so that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing and how we should be. Christ told us that. Read. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 21. Read it out. For even hereunto were ye called. You were called. Read. Because Christ also suffered for us. Christ suffered for us. The 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Leaving us an example. Leaving us a what? An example. You said you wanted to be like Christ. Read. That you should follow his steps. Should follow his what? His step. Read. Who did no sin. Uh -huh. Neither was God found in his mouth. Neither was God found in his mouth. So you trying to be what? You trying to be perfect. You trying to be holy. Meaning you trying to be separate from the other nations. The only way you're going to do that is through this right here. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. It says, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Come on. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. Uh -huh. And a thousand years as one day. Well, watch this read. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The Most High is not slack concerning his promise. I have people always talking about uh, Christ ain't going to return. Now, Christ, he, you've know, you been hearing it, right? Guess what? One day is like a thousand years to God. We cannot fathom when Christ gonna return. Christ don't even know when he gonna return himself. So how do they even know? They don't know a damn thing. Read. As some men count slack. As some of our men count slackness, read. But it's long suffering. It's what? It's long suffering. Long suffering. To read. usward. To usward. To the Israelites, read. Not willing that any should perish. He, we don't want any of our people to perish. Read. But that all should come to repentance. To what? Come to repentance. We just read that in Acts 3 verse 19. That's what he want all our people to come into what? Repentance. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. How it's going to come? As a thief in the night. How nobody a thief going to come? Nobody knows. Ain't nobody going to know. Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away uh -huh. with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Read. The it says, what the, what's that great noise in the firm and heat? Remember, it said great noise in firm and heat. They got to remind you of something. Something got to come to your head. You already know the Bible. Firm and heat. No, oh, no, uh, think about it. Like a thief in the night. Yeah, what he gonna be doing? What's that loud noise in that firm and heat? Loud noise in firm and heat. Think about it. Nuclear destruction. Nuclear destruction. Huh? The war, the hey, uh, the armor Armageddon. The Valley of Jehoshaphat. Well, our nation's going to the Middle East right now, girding up for war. And now people don't have a clue in the world because we worry about where the LeBron James going. Where Kyrie Irving going. Where Carmelo going. We trying to be ready for when the day of, uh, of the Christ return. That's what we trying to be ready for. Free. The earth also and the works that are therein uh -huh. shall be burned up. The, the works and what? Shall be burned up. Everything and every whoever is not keeping the commandments of God, guess what's gonna happen to our people? They gonna feel that firm and heat. Our people gonna feel that mighty sword. Guess if you're not keeping the commandments, our, we have time to repent. We never know when the day of the Lord is gonna be here. Read. See, then that all these things shall be dissolved. Uh huh. What manner of persons ought ye to be? What manner of persons ye ought to be? Who? Holy. That's right. Holy. And how do you be holy? Give me Romans. 7 and 12. Everything you got to do, you got to answer according to this Bible. So when somebody tell you, you tell somebody holy, guess what? Romans 7 verse 12. Watch this. Give me Romans 7 verse 12. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. The what? The law is holy. So you say you want to be like Christ. Guess what you got to do? You got to keep the law to be holy. Read. And the commandment holy. The, com the commandment is holy. Read. And just. Uh-huh. And good. Guess what's good? They say milk does uh, milk does the body good. The laws of God does your body good. That's right. 
This will heal every man that you see standing up here. Right. The laws of God. Because all of us up here was on this side at first. How did we end up on this side? Yeah, we was walking by and we heard the word too. That's right. And we did what? We reformed our minds. We subdued our own understanding. And came what? Back to this Bible as newborn babies. And we had to be taught all over again. Because everything we have been taught was contrary to the word of God. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.